Good morning. This morning I'm going to cover question 4 of the October November 2015 COS 1511 exam paper. Over here the question asks In the following program, explain the difference between the functions double num 1 and double num 2 and show how each are being called. The first thing that I've noticed on this is that the first function is of a function type void, okay, and then it's called double num1, and it contains a reference variable named value, okay, of data type integer, okay. Then, as you can see here, this double num2 is a function data type of int and it's got a pass pass by value variable named value and it's got a return uh, set over here whereas this one doesn't have a return now I've got this snippet from a textbook and it says here reference variables as parameters the main concept when used as parameters, reference variables allow a function to access the parameter's original value. Changes to the parameter are also made to the argument. A reference variable is an alias for another variable and any changes made to the reference variable are actually applied to the main variable for which it is an alias. Reference variables are defined like regular variables. The only difference is that you place an ampersand sign in front of the variable name. So this is our ampersand sign. So what I've done is I've added this snippet of code and I've created a little program. As you can see I've got my void double num function declared here with my uh, value and my reference variable and I've highlighted it that it's a function with a reference variable and then that this second function is a function that's classified as a pass by value uh, variable okay as you can see uh, in my int main I've got a command that's uh, I've got two variables declared my value and return to my value will hold the whatever the user inputs and return to will be assigned whatever value is calculated from this function double num2 okay um, so what we're doing here is there's my return to uh, variable inside here and I'm assigning it the results of the double num2 and the my value is passed to uh, this um, to this function okay because it wants one integer um, parameter being passed to it and as you can see um, because this is a void uh, function type we don't specify anything so we just got the um, we've got the function name and we've got the parameter that it requires okay and so I've got the two output statements the top one is uh, from the this function of double num1 okay so that it has the results of my value and then return to is what we've called here first so it sh they should actually match um, because they doing exactly the same thing so let's continue and execute our code okay so here's our, our snippet of code please enter a value to test let's put a simple value of 10 and as you can see we're getting a result of 20 and 20 and that's basically shows you how the difference between a um, reference parameter and a or a reference variable a function with a reference variable and a function with a pass by value variable is called they called exactly the same way they because they've got one um, parameter type they only need one parameter passed to them but as you can see 
this one uh, automatically calculates the parameter that's being passed to it and returns without the word return and this one requires the word return um, and then performs the calculation thank you for watching the video good luck with the exam